Yo gang, welcome to your 21st Django tutorial and in this video we're going to move from sign up to login and I'll show you the built in login form we can use in Django. Alright then, so now we have this sign up form right here and it works, we can successfully sign a user up. Now I'd like to create a login form. So a user can come to our website, go to forward slash login or something like that and then log in to the application. So the first thing I'd like to do is create that URL pattern in here. So we already have one for sign up. Let's make one for login. So URL and then inside the first parameter is the raw string carrot, then login, then forward slash dollar like so. And then the second parameter will be the view function that fires when someone goes to this URL. So that will be views dot login underscore view now we've not created this view yet we'll do that in a second and the name of this URL will be called login all right then so now we have this login URL we need to create this view function so over to the views we'll create a function right here called login underscore view and this will take the request object first of all now the same as the sign up view this could be a post request to the login or a get request to the login view. So in here we need to determine whether it's going to be a post request or a get request. Now it's going to be a get request if I go to forward slash accounts forward slash login that would be a get request and it would be a post request after I've filled in the form and click on login that would fire a post request to forward slash accounts forward slash login. So those two would both fire this and we can determine whether the method is post or get by using this thing right here if request.method is equal to post then do one thing else we'll do something else so let's do the else case first of all so this will be a get request when a user types in forward slash accounts forward slash login or clicks on the login link so what we'd like to do is send them a login form to the template and then render that form in the browser now, much like this form over here, user creation form, Django comes fully baked with an authentication form as well, which we can use to log users in, which is really cool. So that form is called authentication form, and I've already imported it up here. We import it from the same place we import user creation form from. So just put a comment after that, and then authentication form. And now we can use it down here. So in the get request, in the else case, we can say we want to create a new instance of a form and store it in this variable called form. And that will be authentication form, like so. So we're creating a fresh instance of this form. Then at the end of this, I'd like to send this form back to the template. So we'll return at the bottom a render and make sure that this is outside of the else statement by backwards indenting it, taking it out of that indentation. So render and first of all we send back the request object then we send back or we specify which template we want to render so that will be in the accounts folder forward slash login dot html and then finally we're going to send back the form to this template so that would be in a dictionary we'll call this form and set that equal to the form variable we just created right here so if the request method is post then nothing is going to happen at the minute and we'll talk about that in a second if the request method is get then form is going to be equal to this new form this new authentication form then at the end we're returning a render which is going to render this template and send back that form so now we need to create this template over here so right click new file and call this login.html and then this login form is going to be pretty similar to this sign up form. So what we can do is just copy all of this, paste it in here. We're still extending from the base layout, that's fine. And we're still using this block content right here to inject this into the base layout. We'll change this from sign up to log in. And then we don't want this to go to accounts then sign up. We want it to go to accounts then log in. However, I'm gonna show you a different way to do this. Instead of hard coding the URL right here, we'll use a URL like so open up your template tags then type URL then in single quotes so we don't escape out of the double quotes type in the URL that we want to send this to now we want to send it to the accounts colon and then the name of the URL is login remember in the URLs we said the app name was accounts which is why we have 
accounts right here. Then we have colon login to say in the accounts app, I want to use the login URL. So this right here, this is the same as hard coding forward slash accounts forward slash login. All right. So and it's a post method. We're keeping that the same. We have our token right here and also we're outputting the form that we receive, which in this case is the authentication form, the login form. We have our input button right here, but let's change the value to login and save that. So let's save the view as well. If we make a get request now, then this function should fire and this else statement should fire, set the form up and send the form back to us. So let's go now to forward slash accounts forward slash login, press enter and fingers crossed. Okay, this is not working. So let's open up the terminal and see what's gone wrong. And we have an error right here with else. So let's see what's going on. Okay, it's probably because there's nothing in the if right here. So let's just set up a new form and set that equal to the authentication form again for now. And we'll come back to this in a bit and change it. So let's save that and refresh over here. Now this should work. And now we get this form. So we get a username field and a password field. So if I try to log in at the minute, nothing's going to happen because we're not really doing anything in this um, if statement right here. If we get a post request, all we're doing is we're setting up a new blank form and then eventually returning this template. So we don't want to do that. If it's a post request, we want to take this data, the username and password. We want to try and authenticate it within this form. And then if that's authenticated, if that's valid, the form, then we need to log them in somehow. So this right here is going to make sure that the form is valid by checking that the username and password is correct, right? But what we need to do is pass through the data that we receive into this thing. So we can say request dot post to pass through the post data. Now we did that up here and that was fine here, but right here, this is not the first expected parameter of this function. So we have to actually name this parameter to say that this is the data. So we say data is equal to request.post. And that's because this is not naturally the first parameter of this function. OK, so we're sending the data into this function right here, authentication form into this form. And that's going to validate it for us. Make sure it's OK. And we can also use this is valid method down here. We can say if form dot is underscore valid. So if this username and password is correct, then down here, what we need to do is log in the user, right? Now we're not going to do that just yet. We'll come back to that in the next video, but that's what we need to do. If this is valid, we need to log the user in. Now on the next line, instead of logging the user in for now, all we're going to do is redirect them to the articles list page like we did here. So let's copy that and paste it right here. So again, when we make a post request, it's going to fire this code right here. It's going to pass that data from the post request into this authentication form to validate it. Make sure the username and password is correct. If it is valid, then we'll redirect them to the article listing page. If it's not valid, then it's going to go right to the bottom and return this render again, which is the login template and pass through this version of the form with any kind of authentication error to the template. So if there's an error, then we'll see in the, the browser over here. OK, so let's save this dude and try this out in a browser. So first of all, we'll refresh and Sean and test one, two, three, four. This should redirect us to the article page because this is absolutely correct. Login redirects us. Cool. Now let's do something that's not correct. Let's use peach as the user. We know there's not a peach user yet, so it should throw back an error. Login and we get an error. Please enter a correct username and password. So that's working. Let's try Sean with a different password. We'll just say test instead of test one, two, three, four. Login and we still get the error. So it's picking up on a bad username or a bad password. Cool. So this is all working. And this is correct now. So if I log in, then it's going to log me in to the, well, it's not going to log me into the application. It's going to redirect me to the article listing page, but it's not yet logging me in. All we're doing here is redirecting them like we did here, redirecting them after they signed up. So in the next tutorial, I want to address these two points right here and see how we can actually take that user and log them in to the application.